We need a fun intro. Like a really funny one. Something just came loose in my camera. I don't know what it was. <laughs> meme time! It's meme time! Welcome back, everyone, to Meme Time. Different camera angle. Pretty epic, don't you think? I thought it'd be nice to just kind of like sit down and record differently. And I don't know why. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm in quarantine. I don't know what else to do. Me waiting for next meme time. Look at my boy, Toss. He's so cute. Toss Boy is the greatest character anyone has ever created in Animal Crossing. And I'm not taking any sort of guff from anybody. That's- that's a fact. A meme a day keeps the depression away. <laughs> keeps the big sad away. You're welcome, gamers. I always say that. A meme a day keeps the sadness away. But I give you guys a lot of memes in these episodes. So can you imagine how many sadness days I've kept away with all these memes? I think that's pretty good. This is my first meme. Hope you like it. <laughs> Jack, can't name your island hell Nintendo. Jack. <laughs> People pointed out shortly after that I could have put two capital I's to make it kind of look like- It's camera. Are you- Camera, are you with me? Hello? That I could have put two capital I's to make it look like hell, but hell with one L is the same one from God of War. From Norse mythology. And I'm a gamer, so I'm sticking with- Kratos. Petition for Jack to buy another floppy banana and then glue the floppy bananas to his VR controllers so that it'll keep flopping around. <laughs> Quarantine's really bringing out the memes, huh? This really top tier, high quality thinking going on. I can't do that. If I put anything on the controllers like that, then it'll stop. Well, first of all, they'll just be too heavy and I'll get too strong and then I'll break something in my house. I'll try to like pick up a cup and just smash it with my giant hands. Otherwise, also, I can't use it because it'll just mess up the tracking on the controllers if I put anything on them. It's the same reason I had to take stuff- I had like septic eyes on the original Oculus Rift. I had to take them off for the next ones. Because the tracking would break. Where would I even stick it? On the side? That would break the tracking. That's where my fingies touch and then the game can sense it. Just strap it like here. <laughs> and I'll play games like that. Perfect. Y'all remember Floppy Banana? We shake it at you if you're not self-isolating. Okay, good. Petition for Jack Septicai to bring back the Floppy Banana. I just did! Okay, it's... It's not coming back Oh no! <laughs> I broke the blue light more. You'll be fine, walk it off! The return of the king. The return of the mighty dildo. <laughs> Is that why it smells? Here you go, Jack. Toss boy in Smash. Oh my god. <laughs> You gotta put as close to to Toss Boy's crack-headedness as you possibly could have for him. Okay, what type of character is he? Awesome? Did he beat the crap out of everybody? I hope so. It's my boy Toss. Conda forever. <laughs> I need 70. I bet we'll have flying cars in the future. 2019. Does a potato work as a silencer? <laughs> Irish Special Forces be like, why would you do this? Surely you must have something else around that's better as a silencer than a potato. <laughs> No, a potato makes it louder. You can see it in the video of the Irish potato. Yeah, if it's anything like me, it'll just make everything ten times louder. <laughs> You're probably better off just taking the potato off and throwing it at someone, and then they'll be like, Can you just throw a potato at us? And then you shoot them bang bang dead. Jack's Irish accent normally. Jack's Irish accent with other Irish people. Come on, this happens to everybody. Anybody who has a strong accent, and then you you go away from home, the accent kind of- it fades a little bit, and my accent is all over the place doing YouTube. But whenever you come back, whenever I go home, my accent always comes out really, really strong. Like, if I actually talked with a lot of the slang that I grew up with, none of you would understand what I'm talking about. Except all the Irish people out there. If I start coming out saying story horse, and what's the crack, how is she cutting, devil a bother on it now, like, none of you would understand what I'm talking about. And then I have to read a billion comments of everyone being like, Haha, funny different man do funny different thing. Leave me alone. It's, it's mean. Mom, just eat your food. It's not that hot. The food. <laughs> Come on. I appreciate it. Yes. Oh, yes. So attractive. So sexy. Yes. Oh, Mr. Sexy Irish Potato Man. Yes. So hot and attractive. Is this good? Should I do the rest of the episode like this? In the bottom one, it looks like he's in a scary movie or getting wanked off. <laughs> Fuck. Kinda does! Not gonna lie. <laughs> I wish I could do that thing that people do, like, 
a million gins. <laughs> well, I know how to make myself sick if I ever have to. What normal people see. Good morning, Tossbot. How can I help you? What Jack sees. Give me those fucking knees. Tom Nook is Satan. I keep trying to tell people this. Have, you've watched the series, haven't you? It's not just me saying he's Satan and then he just does normal things. You've seen the episodes of Animal Crossing. He is absolutely Satan. He's coming for Toss Boy. He keeps asking for money. What else is he going to be? A, a corporate capitalist overlord? Same thing. Let Jack see this or not. Whatever. Ugh. Now I got to move these from here to here. Oh, my day is ruined. <laughs> oh my God. Why is it this camera and this lens make my head look... <laughs> Completely tiny! The headphones are massive! Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, I know what's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> what is it? No homework. Sucks! <laughs> oh, that's incredible. That's great. I love that. <laughs> homework sucks. Now, this S really is everywhere, isn't it? Did you guys draw that when you were in school? I drew it everywhere. I saw my friend do it, and I was like, whoa, he's a dark lord of the mystic arts. And then I learned how to do it, and now I was like, so much power. I drew it everywhere. <laughs> I think I drew it on my sister at one point. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna draw it right now. Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Because you start drawing like this, and everyone's like, oh, what's he doing? And then you connect it, and then it's, how does it, it go? Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> oh, it's backwards. Oh no! What do I do? Okay, well I didn't do the S, but I did a really cool 8. <laughs> Close enough! If you don't know how to draw that S, you're not an epic gamer. Cursed Isabel. The only thing you should feel when you pull the trigger is the recoil. Isabel. <laughs> Can someone make a mod for Doom Eternal? And it, it's, it's just Isabel everywhere? Either make all the demons Isabel or make the Doomslayer Isabel. Make a really high quality Isabel skin. Okay, modders, I'm not asking too much. Uh, there's probably about a thousand of you actually making it already. Make a really high quality Isabel and play some of the, the <laughs> cutscenes with her in it. I want to see that. That's going to be funny. How Jack wants, wants B to Shari? What? What's happening? <laughs> Somebody has to do the JoJo meme with that. Do 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 do. Oh, that's great. I can't do it though. I can't hit Shari with the axe. <laughs> I love that it cuts off. I love that you didn't actually put it in. Fair play. Well done. Nice. Let's wear headphones like this. <laughs> Please, Obi Wan. You're my only hope. <laughs> Oh, I didn't drink before this, I swear. On April 1st, we will all unsubscribe PewDiePie. And resubscribe April 2nd to not only prank him, but to beat his most subscribers one day record too. Well, first of all, it's way past April 1st. Uh, can we all appreciate how almost no one made April 1st jokes this year? Because of all the pandemic that's going on, and everything that's happening in the world, I shall not say the virus's name, because YouTube demonetizes you for that. Um... But I'm I'm kind of glad that no one made, like, stupid April Fool's jokes. And no YouTuber was like, guys, I haven't. And I was like, ha, April Fool's. Everyone was just like, you know what? Let's just not this year. Let's just, let's just not. Let's just stay in and play Animal Crossing. Everyone had a nice time. It was great. Secondly, don't do this to any YouTuber, regardless of size, because it's just going to mess them up in the algorithm. Do you have any idea how much damage that would do in the robot's eyes? If suddenly, if, let's say this worked out and a hundred thousand people unsubscribed, the algorithm would suddenly be like, oh, that person did something wrong. And now no one wants to watch their content. And then it would just stop recommending stuff to people. I mean, you could change it around after a while. It's just not worth it. Don't do it. Don't be stinky. Don't be blinky. Normal couple. Hey, what's up? Sean and Evelyn. Hail Satan. You cute. I killed a man. I'm a goofy goober. Yeah, I killed someone. <laughs> Listen, there are two types of people. Animal Crossing people and Toss Boy. Toss Boy is living in a world all of his own. You can't tell me that people aren't just in love with Toss Boy. He's the greatest. I love how on board everybody is with it too. I'm not taking Animal Crossing seriously at all. I'm not playing it at all the way it's intended to be playing. And everyone's still like, yeah, this is fun, why not? <laughs> I love the I love the deep lore that's being formed. Oh wait. 
Hold on. I just heard the cat come down. It's 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 BB's feeding time. I get to give him the nice the nice yummy food. Hold on, I'll be back. Okay. I'm back, gamers. We have we have his food on like an automatic thing, so it, it spits out food at certain times of the day. It's fantastic. We have his food automated, his water automated, and his kitty litter automated. He's self-sufficient. But we also give him like a little treat of like wet food every day. And I get to give it to him today. And he's so happy. You come out and he's like, yes! Oh, I love you! I love you! It's great. Having a pet's great. Ethnicity estimate. Swedish 70%. Irish 5%. <laughs> Move over, meatballs! It's my turn! I get to- I get free IKEA now. That's how it works, right? Free IKEA for every Swedish person? I would like that. I, if, free, you just get free whiskey as an Irish person. There's only so much one man can drink. Hey, do! Yes, yes! Uh, Javla Fita! I wish I knew more Swedish than that. Tusen tak, manen! See, I, I blend right in. <laughs> Felix is then 4% Irish, 81% Swedish. <laughs> you and I are not so different. <laughs> I don't want to be Green Goblin, though. I want to be Spider Man. I want to be cool Spider Man. Felix doesn't deserve to be Spider Man. He doesn't even like Spider Man. I met Spider Man. Kratos is apparently Irish. Old Kratos is 75% American. New Kratos is 73% Irish. Ah, by the Kratos. 73% Irish and 14% Scottish. Damn, those are some- That's good. The Cal- the, the Calic. The Calic Celtic blood is in you. That's how all Irish people look. I mean, it's exactly how I look. I look exactly like Kratos with the- with the super cool beard. The bald head and the like really muscular body. Same thing. That's how it defines you. That you're Irish. It's just the other pictures had me with like green hair and stuff. It just didn't work. I found this on Instagram. Such happy boys. Oh my god. That picture is five years old. That was from PAX East 2015. That was the first PAX I went to. Except Mark who can't drink. Sad. I mean, that's an alcoholic drink in his hand. We were all drinking. That's- this is 2015. That- that was- he was drinking back then. It was fine. He just had a reaction one time and now he needs to be careful with alcohol. He probably can drink, like, a bit. It's just if it's like, oh, if I drink a lot and I potentially die, is it really worth the risk? No. But this is- this is alcohol right here. That's an alcohol. This is an alcohol. And that's Bob's lovely wife Mandy who got cut off by the picture because apparently Mark can't take them or hates her for some reason. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> but. I- that joke just kept on going and I just didn't back out of it. Doing my part. I remember that when I found Jacksepticeye about six and a half years ago, I liked every single video that he made. Then I liked every single video of his after that. I don't think he's seen any of the comments I sent out or posts I've made on the subreddit. But I love him and he's been a part of my life since I was eight. Oh. Oh. That's really, really sweet. Thank you. Oh. It's crazy to think that some people have been on the channel for the entirety of it. For like... I've been doing it for what, seven years? Coming up on an eight. Let's say you started watching the channel when you were ten. And you- you watched every single video since then. Or not even every single video, but you've been here since then. You'd be almost eighteen now. It'd almost be legal drinking age here. That is wild to me. And some people who are in like their early twenties. I've seen so many people who are like mid-teens, early twenties. And now, after so long, they're still here and they send me messages and tweets showing that they're in college or they have jobs now. People are literally growing up with the channel. Some people who are in like their 30s or almost near their 40s now, it's... It's so wild. Despite what everyone thinks, it's not all children who watch this channel. I've met quite a few older people who actually watch the channel, especially when I went on tour. The age range was like... Mid-teens, but m most of the people at the shows were like 30s like late 20s, uh, 40s, I had a couple of people who were like in their 70s and their 60s, it was wild. So many, so many different age ranges and so many people, different people growing with the channel as it goes. And I, I'm of course, I'm growing as a person and changing as a person too, so it's cool that we can all kind of like go through transitions together and some people fall off and new people come in. It's wild! YouTube's a wild journey. And I wouldn't change it for anything. It's been amazing so far. 69 days is equal to 6 days and nine weeks. I don't know if that's true, so I'm going to check BRB. 7 times 9, 63. 63 plus 6 equals 69. <laughs> it is true! I looked it up and you are right. Have enough vote. Aw! Oh, yeah, we did it, gamers! <laughs> oh, I didn't even realize everyone's saying nice, 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 
Nice. That That's pretty epic. Apparently this is very old and a repost, so I'm not allowed to like it. I'm not allowed to laugh at it. I, I retract my laugh. Sorry, everybody. I laughed at an old joke. Damn it. I should be better than this. It's been like three years since most of these catchphrases. Oh, Lord. Is speed still key? Is Jack still a boss? Does Jack still love balls? Do you have 90 minutes? Are nipples still twisty fresh? Are Stotska still greatest country? Does Jack still have plus one biceps? Do we still screw Billy? <laughs> oh my. I like how half of these are basically Happy Wheels. Man, I, that was... That was like 2016, 2014 YouTube as well. That every, everything was just catchphrases. Everybody just had a few catchphrases that they repeated in a ton of videos. Or the same kind of repeating jokes. You just took the same jokes and applied it to like your whole channel. And people loved it. People ate it up. Um, although, do you have 90 minutes? That was last year. Good. Good, good. Wait! It's been like three years since most of these catchphrases? Why do you have this one in the middle of it? I've had a lot of catchphrases over the years. A lot, a lot, a lot. There's been so many different ones. I can't even remember half of them. I used to say YOLO bitches when I drove cars in GTA 5. I, I, do you have, or Coke Zero, Zero Sugar, same great Coke Taste, Zero Sugar, you get it. So many. Can anybody or anything stop the Squatch? It was fun to go back and do like the Nostalgia Week thing for the end of the year and the end of the decade because I got to repeat a lot of these catchphrases again and it was just like a, a big light of nostalgia. It was great. I know a lot of people would prefer <clears throat> to go back to stuff like this but it it's just, it's not the same. The reason that this stuff is great is because you found the channel at a very different time of your life and as you grow and change with it these things are all nostalgia at that point but nostalgia is just that it's rose tinted glasses it's never the same when you bring it into the the modern times last meme for me today i promise am i even real what's happening why do i not get this meme what's going on wait is this a colorblind one? Oh god most colorblind ones i'm like i can maybe start to see something ah oh. If you really rise the saturation and the vibrance of it, you can actually see it. Oh! Okay, guys, he has almost found it out. Promise to not tell him. Oh my god. That was actually in there. Jesus Christ. This is mean. I, I feel like I should clarify as well. It's stuff like this that makes the colorblind stuff really apparent. I can see colors. I can actually see colors. It's just when it's a mix of colors like this that it gets really hard. Everyone's like, so what does Jack's logo look like to him? Because he's red, green, colorblind. I can see red and green. But that's not how it works. Do some do some research. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I can actually get this for myself now. I like that. I like that Animal Crossing lets you put in codes to get clothing that other people make. Make me some cool clothes. I mean, you don't have to. If you, if you feel like it, if you want to. Because I want to do something where I wear some stuff that you guys have made so you can be in the episodes a little bit. But yeah, if you want to go download that, it's right here. PMA. <laughs> Shari Tossboy Bugnet. I mean, if I could hit her with a stop sign in the game, I would. That's our next goal. We have to get Shari off the island. We have to vote her out. We, it, it's a democracy. We need to get her out. Everyone hates her. That's all the comments ever say. Everyone hates Shari. I'm not a tyrant or a dictator. It's just the way everyone feels. Is there a villager worse than Shari. I- I read your comments, I look at the answers, but I all- I know you're all gonna be wrong. Fear not, lady! I'll save you! Shari is my favorite Animal Crossing character. Yeah, she was already dead when I found her. <laughs> Jesus. It's so dark. <laughs> but also, Shari does suck. So... I'm sorry, but it's gonna have to stay. I really hope that instead of adding a billion eggs to the game, that Nintendo add murder to Animal Crossing. That's all I want. The murder update. Um, so I can just kill Shari. That's it. I You just get one. Call it the purge update. <laughs> Where for 24 hours, you're allowed to kill anyone on your island. I'll kill Shari and then I'll stop. I promise. I won't stab Tom. Even in the hard times, Jack has been there for all of us. Thanks, Jack. <laughs> you guys are too sweet. Stop. That's really precious, thank you. I mean, likewise, any of the tough times I've had in my life, you guys have always been there. And you're always there, no matter what time it is. Anytime I go online, there's always someone to talk to, and I feel, feel very honored to be in that type of position. So thank you very, very much for that. I, I really appreciate it. But yeah, we're all going through stuff at some point in our lives. 
We all go through difficult times. We all go through something that's going to get us down or knock us on our ass every now and then. And some of us go through something even harder. And I hope that my videos, for some people, have at least been able to lift them out of those moments. Even if I, I, I just did that for one person, I'd still consider what I do an accomplishment. Because that's, that's, that's a nice thing to be able to do for somebody. Lord knows I needed it a lot when I was a teenager, so I, I hope I can do that for some people. And we're going through a really tough time in general as a global society right now. Society. Um, so hopefully my videos and other YouTubers videos can kind of be sort of a light in the darkness, especially since, I don't know, I just like making videos. I like making people happy. I like doing what I do. It's never been for any sort of like personal gain or monetary reasons. Um, so to be able to just keep uploading videos during a time like this, uh, I'm in a, I'm in a huge like position of privilege to be able to do that because a lot of people are going through hard times right now so I just I'm very glad that I'm able to be here and share some sort of laughs with you guys and some sort of joy and look at memes all together and just kind of shut off the rest of the world for maybe like 20-30 minutes or an hour a day and just kind of be here in our little nook oh god Tom be here in our little slice of the internet and just do our own thing and kind of shut everything else out, so thanks. That does it for all the memes this time. Thank you for submitting, thank you for just being wholesome, wholesome little people out there posting all of your jokes. I really appreciate it, it's very, very sweet. And I have a great time going through it and seeing what you guys are up to and the jokes that you make. Because I, I make the videos and I do like Animal Crossing stuff, but seeing what you guys do with it after is one of my favorite things. It's great. There's some jokes that you guys make that I wouldn't even think of, so... Put yourselves in the back. But I'm gonna have to leave you here, my sweet baby Mimi Dreamers. All you cool cats and kittens. And just go on to the subreddit. There'll be something there to make you chuckle, haha. <laughs> Maybe out of your nose a little bit. <laughs> Maybe make you, make you pee a little. Who knows? Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>